Hello and welcome to the worst setup ever. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this video that is me doing makeup. So I actually really wanted to do makeup today. It's like a random Tuesday. I used to like do makeup quite regularly but then I don't know why I stopped. Like probably because of because of my self-esteem and anxiety. So today, I actually had an idea of doing a spring makeup look. But there's a twist. You know, it's not an ordinary um, makeup video. I'll be asking AI or ChatGPT to actually create the spring look for me. I've used ChatGPT and I definitely want to know what the people who are looking at my data be like because I be asking the weirdest questions ever. There are some things that I have learned while using ChatGPT. I've learned that you have to be very detailed when you ask ChatGPT and also because I'm not using premium so I want to take advantage of every little question I ask you know because I learned that there is a limit here. And also, the most uh, times you can edit your prom, for me, I would say is two times. So let's say if you prompt ChatGPT with a question and it comes up with the an answer and you're like, oh, I don't really like this, so you edit the prompt again. The most I would edit would be twice because I learned that anything more than two times, the results from ChatGPT will be very inaccurate. Um, enough blabbering. Um, yeah, let's make a makeup look for spring because apparently it's springtime in countries, um, but not here, I guess. Um, in Singapore, we only have two seasons either heat wave or monsoon. So, yeah, let's get started. So, let's ask ChatGPT. Oh, I did a click. Can you create? a makeup look for me for no for for springtime so i want something not simple more towards heavy eyeshadow i want it bright um colorful Vibrant, extravagant. No, um, oh, I spelled bright wrongly. And fun. What else? I do not want to wear foundation or eyeliner. So do omit them. Okay, let's do this then. I'm so scared. All right, let's go. Sure, here's a makeup look that fits your description for springs. Okay. Um. Wow, that's crazy. Let's, let's do what it says. Step one, begin by applying a neutral eyeshadow base over the lips. This will help your eyeshadow blend more easily and prevent creasing. Concealer, so let's use... Is it gonna rain? Okay, take bright yellow eyeshadow and apply all over your eyelid. I've got it. Um, this is embarrassingly old, but we still use it, you know. Uh, when was the last time I used this? I'm so confused. Am I that Asian? Or is my eyes hooded? I'm gonna put like... I don't know how many times. Oh wait, no. Extending slightly above the crease. Use a fluffy blending brush to blend out any harsh is that a brush fluffy oh I didn't read extending slightly above the crease I literally 
colored my whole eyelid yeah this is the yellow i don't really have a bright yellow this is the only yellow i have all right next a bright pink eyeshadow and apply it to the outer corner of the eye blending it into the yellow shade um which is bright pink i think this one right yeah this one okay um i use both sides of the brush so this one i used it for the yellow so now i use this for the pink so please do not come at me it has worked before and i'll use it because i know it works oh oh okay bro i look also i realize like every time i do makeup i have a tendency of doing this i have a tendency i don't know what am i so scared for oh yeah the outcome take a matte orange eyeshadow and apply it to the crease blending it to the pink and yellow shades use a fluffy blending blending brush to blend the colors together seamlessly i'll use this orange Okay, moving on because I I don't know. Step five: apply a shimmery gold eyeshadow to the inner corner of the eye to add some brightness and dimension. So we have a shimmering gold um, eyeshadow, and I won't be using a brush actually. So I'll just apply it with the hand because that way actually applies better, I guess. I don't know. Can you see anything? To finish it off, we apply mascara to the top and bottom lashes. I didn't even curl my lashes. Oh my gosh, I'd be forgetting the most basic stuff ever. This is the driest mascara ever. I mean, because it's old. Do you hear this? It's literally nothing. I think it's time to start buying new stuff <laughs> Talking about uh, lashes Have you ever talked to someone and their lashes are like so nice And you're like Why? Why do you get it and I don't? What makes you so different that you get to have better lashes than me? What? Okay, I think that looks okay And now we're done with the top lash and now we gotta do the bottom lash oh yes i just remember something i want to tell you guys a story one time i went out with someone and i did my mascara and apparently we were sitting and talking for like a few hours and then when we were done i went to the toilet and what did i see in the mirror my mascara had melted it was having a conversation for hours even though i don't really like talking to people with that he didn't even bother telling me moving on to the face one apply a light moisturizer to the face to hydrate your skin and prep it for makeup aren't you supposed to do that before then okay as you can see now my face is hydrated from the moisturizer and now we can move on to step 2 which is use a peach colored blush to add a flush of color to your cheeks I'm guessing I'll be using this and maybe adding a little bit of either one of these so that it makes it a little more peachy I guess Now for the last step, apply a tinted lip balm in a bright coral shade to complete the look. What's a coral shade? It will be these two things that I have. 
Um, this is a a two tone lip bar, Fenty Beauty gloss. Kind of looks like that, just shimmering. So maybe I just combine them. I'm just gonna add. Listen to me, orange eyeshadow to my lips. I mean, that's the only way to make it coral, right? You see? I mean, it just looks pink, honestly. There you have it. A bright, colorful, and fun eyeshadow look perfect for spring without foundation or eyeliner. Okay, never mind. I asked ChatGPT, can I do my eyebrows and contour too for this look? And it replied, of course. If you would like to add some definition to your face, you can definitely do your eyebrows and contour as well. Here's how you can do it. Eyebrows. Step 1. Use an eyebrow pencil or powder that matches your natural eyebrow color. Use a spoolie brush to blend out the product for a more natural look. So I do have this um, eyebrow gel. Moving on to contour, we have step one. Use a contour powder or cream that's a few shades darker than your skin tone. Apply the contour shade under your cheekbones, along your jawlines and on the side of your nose. Blend out the contour with a fluffy brush to avoid any harsh lines. You can also use the same color contour shade to define your temples and perimeter of your forehead. Oh, they gave me a reminder. Remember to blend the contour shade well for a more natural finish and use a light hand when applying the product so that it doesn't overpower the bright colorful eyeshadow look you've created. I think we are done. Um, I think ChatGPT did a good job. I'm not gonna lie on this. It, it looks nice. I just have one last question to ask ChatGPT. So, um, if you like this video, like, um, leave a comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will be creating more content and I would appreciate if you support me. I have no clue what I'm gonna do in the next video, but there will definitely be a next video soon because I'm trying to be very consistent in uploading videos this year. Follow me on my social media. Follow me on my Instagram at LilyRanner. Please leave your feedback on this video or some feedback, you know, for future videos in the comment down below. And yeah, I hope this gives you a positive and memorable impression of me. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.